Our goal is to make sure that health and well-being is identified as a priority here at the University of Delaware. We want to look at well-being from all aspects. We want to make sure that it's identifying the person as an individual, but also building well-being into the institution. So we really get to know our employees and we really get to kind of have a pulse of what's going on on campus. We're really there to meet you where you are. If it's fitness related, if it's mindfulness related, we can direct you to the appropriate resources if it's stress or nutrition related. It's really important to incorporate well-being in your career because you want to be healthy. I mean, some of our jobs are very stressful. Um, but we have to find ways to reduce that stress. In the university, we want to make sure that we have resources available to employees to do that. Our team is taking a holistic, whole person approach to health and well being. We've really sat down and identified some easy themes to group well being into, and those are community well being, career well being, purpose. We also are looking at physical, social, and emotional well-being, as well as financial well-being. We try to have as many engagement activities as possible so individuals can have some fun at work and even fun activities for their university campus. In this environment, we're really looking at changing that culture where health becomes the new norm. So having a leader that is supportive of that and not only just says that they're supportive, but shows that they're supportive, a leader that's involved, that's doing our programs, um, that's out there with their employees, it makes a huge difference and it takes some of that stress away that employees feel like, you know, oh, I can't leave my desk at lunch, but if their leader's leaving their desk, they can say, okay, I can take 20 minutes out of my day to go for a walk around campus too. When I first became dean, I was sitting in my office meeting after meeting after meeting, so I'm trying to be a little more intentional about it these days. And some of the wellness programs that we set up a couple years ago on Spring into Motion, Walktober, We've been participating in those as a team. It's just changed the way I approach fitness and well-being to incorporate it, kind of integrate it through my day instead of just doing it in the morning or the evening. Leadership is supported because they set the tone at the top. So if they are in for it, then the team, other members of the team will also be participant of it. And I also think it makes a better work-like balance experience. Well-being to me means taking care of your body, getting a good night's sleep, being able to get out and exercise. For me, during the season, I like to try to get out there and, and run outside or on the treadmill uh, two to three miles a day and try to get activity in four or five days a week. For policing, it's a mentally and physically demanding job. The obvious demand of police work where you're you know, going against unknown encounters at all times, but in addition to that, some things that people don't think about is just the demands of driving around in a, in a car for 12 hours, constantly getting in and out of the car, wearing a vest, a gun belt, and a uniform that's very uncomfortable, and being in a confined space, a police car is a little bit different than a regular car in that there's a computer in there, there's a patrol rifle, uh, there's a cage where you put the prisoners in the back seat, so just the physical demands of it can make you mentally and, and physically worn out at the end of the shift. I think the community here at the University of Delaware is very important to building relationships, bouncing ideas off of each other, as we like to say in athletics, inspiring greatness together. As a head coach at the University of Delaware, it's important for me to get out and reach out to the community and connect and also put a product on the floor that they're really excited to come out and support. Well-being is a very individual decision and for different people, it means different things. My well-being is my family, it's my health, it's my workplace, um, it's my relationship. So I think if I can get all of those things somewhat in the line on a daily basis, um, I will walk out um, every day in the morning with a happy face. As we consider what we want to do in a workplace, I think the best thing that we can do is actually to create environments that actually encourage wellness and wellness type behaviors. We are uniquely positioned to build the employee experience and make sure that it's a great place to work and that employees here are living a healthy life and they're bringing their best self to work each day.